The Farmhouse is a spooky tale about a two young boys who go exploring in the countryside and come across an old, abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. Every summer, my mother would take me to visit our relatives who lived out in the country. My cousin and I were almost the same age and we were always up to mischief. We spent our days out in the fields, exploring the area, making bows and arrows, sharpening knives, throwing rocks, climbing trees and tracking wild animals. One day, we set out on a long walk across the fields, not really having any idea where we were going. Sometimes we like to get ourselves lost and then try to find our way home. After a few hours of walking, it was getting late in the afternoon when we came across a farmhouse that looked as if it was abandoned. On the property, there was a small storage shed, so we jumped over the fence and decided to find out what was inside. We found that the doors were locked. There was a small keyhole, but we couldn't see through it because it was blocked by dust and thick spider webs. We walked towards the house and noticed that the front door was standing open, but there was no sign of life coming from within. The yard was overgrown with grass and weeds. The only sound we could hear was an old windmill nearby, rattling in the breeze. I went to the door of the house and shouted, hello, but there was no answer. It was then that the smell hit me. It was the stench of damp, mold and decay. I stepped inside. There were clothes and papers everywhere, and some cardboard boxes. There was also an old bed, some racks of moth-eaten clothes, a leather armchair. I took a few steps forward and the smell seemed to get worse. A feeling of intense uneasiness washed over me and I wanted to turn and run away. Just then, something caught my eye. At the foot of the bed, between some boxes, lay a head. It was covered in gray hair. There was an old man lying on his back, his face turned upwards and his eyes open. He was dead. I let out a horrified yell, then grabbed my cousin by the arm and we both ran as fast as we could. As we fled across the yard, we were passing the shed outside when the locked door suddenly crashed open and an old lady was standing there. Her hair was in disarray and when she smiled, her lips parted, revealing a row of rotten teeth. She was carrying a bloody knife in her hand. She made an attempt to grab me as we rushed past, but I managed to dodge her and kept running. I didn't dare to look back, I just ran and ran as fast as I could. It was a few minutes later that I realized my cousin wasn't with me. I stopped in my tracks, breathing heavily and looked around. He was nowhere to be seen. My heart sank. I started running again, desperately trying to get back to my aunt and uncle's house as quickly as possible. Eventually, I saw the lights of their house in the distance. As soon as I reached home, I ran inside and called out to my mother. My relatives gathered around me as I started babbling and begged them to go find my cousin. My uncle got into his truck and brought me with him. Eventually, we found the old farmhouse, but my cousin wasn't there. Neither were the old man or the old woman. After searching for a while, my uncle called the police. A few days later, my cousin still had not been found. The farm was searched from top to bottom, but there was no trace of him and he remains missing to this day. It's one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in the region. I don't know what happened to my cousin that day, but I am glad it didn't happen to me.